Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sanjay Kriketa. Welcome back to our channel MediMind. Today in this video, we're going to talk about another dangerous viral disease known as rabies. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So what happens is if you subscribe our channel, you will get notified whenever we upload a video. So let's start. Rabies is an acute central nervous system infection which is transmitted by an animal bite. Rabies is transmitted by the virus called rhabdovirus and this virus is transmitted to a human from the bite of an infected animal through the skin or mucous membrane. So how does this virus progress? After the bite from an infected animal, the rabies virus begins replicating in the striated muscle cells at the bite site. This rabies virus spreads along the nerve pathways with the spinal cord and finally reaches to the brain where it starts to replicate again producing various dangerous sinus symptoms. Rabies develops in three phases. First one is prodromal phase, second one is excitation phase and third and the final one is hydrophobia. In prodromal phase, patient will complain of local radiating pain with itching or tingling sensation at the bite site. Patient may also report malice, headache, anorexia, nausea, sore throat, loose cough, nervousness, anxiety, irritability, sensitivity to light, loud noise, and excessive salivation, tearing, perspiration. He may have a temperature of 100 to 102 degree Fahrenheit. Excitation phase comes after 2 to 10 days of prodromal phase. In this phase, patient will be hyperactive, anxiety, pupillary dilatation, shallow respiration, altered level of consciousness. Cranial nerve dysfunction may cause ocular palsy, deviation of eye, asymmetrical pupillary dilatation or constriction, absence of corneal reflex, facial muscle weakness and hoarseness of voice, and temperature also rise to about 100 degree Fahrenheit. About 50% of patients have hydrophobia, which causes forceful, painful pharyngeal muscle spasm that expel the fluids from the mouth and resulting in dehydration and possibly apnea, cyanosis and death. Solving problems causes dribbling of saliva and soon the sight, sound or thought of water triggers uncontrollable pharyngeal muscle spasm and excessive salivation. Between excitatory and hydrophobic phase, patient usually remains cooperative and after about 3 days, these phase subside and progressive paralysis lead to the coma and death. There is no diagnostic test for rabies before its onset, but histological examination of the brain tissues can be helpful which shows characteristic minute bodies called negri bodies. Post-exposure prophylaxis is the most effective treatment. This regimen consists of 5 doses of immunoglobulin. The first dose should be given as soon as possible after the first fight and remaining dose should be given at 3, 7, 14 and 28 days after the first dose. Another important thing is wound management. The wound should be immediately washed with soap and water followed by application of povidine or iodine. If patient develops symptoms, isolate the patient and provide supportive care. Take precaution to avoid being beaten or scratched by the patient during excitation phase. That's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you found it helpful, please share with others so they can benefit as well. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and a healthy day.